Today I want to share with you how you can easily hand make a nice present or make your working and gaming space themed by decorating affordable mouse pads with cyberpunk motifs. It is a great way of satisfying your creativity while being part of the hype. I am starting with two cheap plain black mouse pads. They have smooth fabric surface, rubber base and stitched edges. First, I gave them a good wash with detergent soap in the sink to remove any sizing, grease or waterproof treatment there might be, and then I let them dry flat. Because I want to be as precise as I can in drawing the design of the Samurai Band and the Arasaka Corporation logo, I will need to have something easily removable to mark the grid and sketch the design. As we are drawing on fabric, I will use what tailors and seamstresses usually use, a simple chalk pencil. I have white, blue and pink to distinguish between the grid, which I have measured and drawn off screen, and the different parts of the logo. It is super easy to erase unwanted lines by rubbing them with a piece of cloth as you would do with an eraser. And when we are done and our paint had a chance to dry, we can give the pad another wash to remove the rest of the grid and original sketch. All the materials used are listed below in the description. The best thing is that the mouse pads won't be subjected to regular wash cycles or tumble drying, so you don't need to go hunting for any special fabric colors. A bit higher quality acrylics will do. Make sure your acrylics don't dry too shiny and tacky, as this would make the mouse stick to the design and ruin the game. I would recommend a little bit more fluid paints that will make nice smooth surface without brush stroke texture. If you have the heavy body ones, you can dilute the paint a bit with water or fluid medium, even though that is at a cost of opacity and more layers might be than needed. using Liquitex soft body acrylics and boy is their first time opening an adventure. Each one of them makes sure to squirt some paint on my fingers. I'm starting with one of three layers that will be needed for both the red and the off-white. The cyber part of this logo is mostly white mixed with a hint of yellow and ultramarine blue. I am making sure the layers can dry between each application, so I can assess the colors and adjust if needed.
Before the final layer, I have given the pad a gentle wash to erase the grit and the chalk sketch and then fix some of the edges and shapes with the use of permanent marker. For the second mat, I want to paint the Arasaka logo and name in the pretty font in pure white. I'm again starting with a grid and I have also created some stencils for the circles in the logo as I don't want to leave their shapes to chance. I am then with the help of my grid making sure the letters are regular, the right size, 
Oh, and that will take another try. <laughs> After I am happy with the sketch, I will add the contours with focus on the little dents on the sides of the letters, which give them a lot of charm. Using the mentioned stencils, I will make decent circles and pass an inspection from my supervisor with a bit of a discussion why I won't let her drink my paint water. After the first layer, I fix some of the shapes with my black Posca pen and continue adding second layer. Before the third layer, I wash the chalk grid and sketch away to see where my product needs fixing. We are done! You can see the paints did not make it stiff in the least, they allow the mouse to slide without any problem and I'm ready to play. Comment, like and subscribe for more, thanks for watching!